Alright, so. Creepy ass tunnel. So do the ghouls just come from the other side of this weird tunnel? Is that what's happening here? Like, I don't really know. Oh, hey, bro, what's up? Your knife's pretty clean, all things considered. I mean, he is gross. Of course I go to block the one that's unblockable. Oh, that does nothing to him. What about this? Eating a hot for me, huh? Oh shit. Oh, of course. Blockable one when I actually go to block. Damn it. Oh, I blocked that. That's horse shit. I'm calling fucking horse shit on that one. Damn it, I keep blocking the fucking unblockable one. I got this dodge. I'm hoping to get some blocks in. Oh, wow. I'm actually surprised that hit me with the roll. Oh, I gotta do all this again? Damn it means I probably got to grab this again. Oh, I don't. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I already know. I wonder how you are against fairies. Nope, the fairies, like, I don't want any part of that.
Yep. I knew he was gonna do something because I saw that coming. Ah, oh, damn it. What are you doing now, big boy? actually pretty great. He's like, oh, I goofed. You did, in fact, goof. Whew. Well, that was a fun fight. The evil butcher. Holy water seems to be the uh, the go-to here for sure. What's up, friends? Body right there. <coughs> well, the scroll. The castle cook has a key which I need. Damn, he looks repulsive. I dread to think what he feeds to those ghouls. I must have that key, but how? I must lure him out or find a way into the kitchen where he prepares his gruesome meals. No small task, but he looks a worthy opponent, and I am not sure I have the strength to deal with him. He was, in fact, a worthy opponent. He was tough. No way around it. Oh, it's not gonna let me do that? That's crap. I was hoping it just jumped out there. Alright. Another one. I will take that for sure. And that. Oh, that just does that. Okay. I forgot there's an exit. Upstairs. I guess it's good though, because then I got that stuff. Exit over here. <coughs> I like how every key is magical. I see some skeletons. Really, who didn't see a fight coming? Oh, I hit jump. Oh, hello, friends. You know what? Screw you guys. Let's just end this real quick. Whew. 
by the end of that crap real fast. Oh. Hello, friend. There appears to be a floor above this one, though I see no clear way to access it. There must be some secret to find that will aid me in this godforsaken place. My fairies are all but gone, and my dark crystal is incomplete. God has abandoned me here. They are coming. I can hear them. Forgive me, Iris, for it seems I'll never look upon your beautiful face again. I just think of the Iris from the fucking Mega Man. What am I fighting for? I couldn't even. I can't do that half as cheesy as it needs to be. Blue. Blue. Red. I am not looking this up, by the way. I'm just taking a wild guess here. Red. Blue. Wow, I can't believe I fucking figured this <laughs> That was a pure wild guess. How are you supposed to figure that out? Or I guess maybe it's something I got way back when. That thing that told me. Yeah. Oh, there was another red one, huh? I feel like there's still some skills I can have. Ground cutter. Okay. This very interesting chainsaw attack can be used at the end of, actual, of an aerial combo. The X button while in the air, then hold X second time. Left is the X button last time. Yeah, let's buy that. That's awesome. I love the little animations. Was that the end of that? Yep. Chapter 8. The butcher who commanded the castle kitchens fed the corpses of the dead to the ghouls. The efficiency of the queen's household is formidable indeed. The vampires drain the blood and the ghouls feed on the remains. Nothing is left. Using his powers is making Gabriel far stronger than I anticipated. He will need more than physical prowess when he faces her. She can put a glamour upon his heart that will tempt him to forget everything he knows, even his beloved. She holds the next piece of the mask, and I fear that he will fall at the last. Man, I love this part. It's so great. That's pretty. Pretty in a very different way than earlier. There's something I love about big, giant, evil castles in the frozen. I think that's why I liked Skyrim so much. I loved Skyrim. That game was awesome. Hey, boyos! No pretense, huh? We're just doing this, huh? Fine. Let's do it then. You're all gonna get staked. Man, I don't feel bad for you things at all. I mean, I guess maybe you were once people, and that sucks. But you're not anymore. Ooh, I am high up here now. Oh, I hit RT. Come on. So how am I supposed to get that? You can't go there. Can't go up here either. 
You know what this makes me of? Which is another place I love. Uh, the the part in Dark Souls Three that's the 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 frozen city. Huh. Weird. It's not. This is not letting me to even try. I'm trying to jump that. Nope, it's not even giving me that opportunity, man. Weird. There must be a way back or something. Can I bust through that wall, I wonder? Let's see. Or is it something like this? Yeah, it's something like this. I made that way harder on myself than it needed to be. <laughs> Oh, if I had gotten that one, I would have upped it. But yeah, that, uh, oh man, what is that? Boreal, oh man, I can't remember. But it's the part in Dark Souls 3 that's all in, like, the frozen lands. That entire city is so awesome. What? Oh, you guys! Here too, I see. Ooh, look at my face. Man, these guys hurt. Come on. Jesus. Oh, fuck. going way better. Holy crap. That guy just like exploded into fairies. I definitely see that back there. Hey friend. I have assessed the expanse of the castle and it is truly vast in size. The Dark Lord that rules here is well protected and I fear none from our brotherhood will ever come close enough to challenging him. It is cold here and the wind chills to the bone. I am fortunate not to have been discovered but I do not know how long that will last. Oh, this is a good song. 
Hey, another new main character. Laura. The childlike appearance of Laura has led many of to their deaths, for she is a deceptive, ruthless killer who has murdered hundreds of innocents over many centuries to satiate her blood craving. Although she has the body of a child, she has the cunning and intellect of someone far older. She can be particularly cruel, often treating the killing of her victims as a game. However, when at rest and alone, she remembers a time long past, a time of warmth and comfort and a woman's beautiful voice singing to her as she sleeps, comforting her in the darkness, a life lost long ago. So what monsters did we not go through? I know there's a ton. Stone Idol Titan. The Mage Smiths were an order of Agarthan wizards who specialized in the creation of powerful artifacts. Most of their inventions were objects of common use such as magical clothing or enchanted weapons of armor and armor. But probably their most impressive creations were the Titans. These golems of gargantuan proportions were built for defensive purposes, but mages were forced to use them in the course of the war against the Dark Lords, during which most of them were destroyed. This golem was created using similar techniques to those involved in the construction of the Titans. However, a human body was needed to imbue the armor of great power, so Claudia's father used the corpse of a mute killer and weaved his soul within the armor to forge this magical being. The Black Knight requires souls in order to function, so Claudia lures evil creatures so that he may devour them. Despite this, the Black Knight is not evil. The soul of the killer inside the armor hopes for redemption by protecting his ward and sees a kindred spirit in the mute daughter of his creator, whom he eventually grown to love. Oh, that makes me feel even more shitty about that whole situation. <laughs> hmm. Cornell. The three founding members of the Brotherhood of Light were brave warriors who sacrificed their physical bodies in order to become spiritual beings able to fight God's wars against evil. They performed a mystical ritual to transform themselves into angelic creatures. Their intentions were honorable, but they were deceived, and their spirits were fractured. Their good sides were transported to heaven as angelic beings, while their dark sides were left behind. Cornell was the youngest of the three, but he was also the strongest. Unlike his companions, he rarely used his magic powers, preferring to fight using a great sledgehammer that none but he could wield. On that fateful night, the spirit of Cornell left his body, and all the strength and anger left behind gave birth to the lycanthrope Dark Laura. Lycanthrope Dark Lord. <laughs> the Dark Lord of the Lycanthropes, who would have known, is the personification of hate and violence. In his werewolf form, he has superhuman strength and speed, far greater than even his mighty lieutenants. In addition to his natural abilities, he can also use the power of the Cyclone Moods, magical relics worn by his human counterpart. With them, he is able to jump great distances and perform powerful charge movements that can tear down most obstacles. An ogre. The Anubian giants are an ancient species as old as the Earth itself. This particular ogre is one of the last of his race left in the world. He lives amongst the walls of his deserted mountain of this deserted mountain fortress, waiting for misguided travelers to stumble in so that he can grind their bones to make his bread. However, this particular ogre hasn't had much man flesh for quite some time, having to settle for the odd cave troll. Ogres have an extremely keen sense of smell and can sniff a man from half a mile away, making them very successful trackers. Fortunately, their size and clumsy nature means that their prey can often see them coming. Yeah, I mean, if that thing's coming from you from half a mile away, you're going to kind of know it. Alright, I'm going to roll out one more I think is good. Swordmaster. The spirit of a brave fighter never dies, according to the popular saying. In some places filled with foul magic energy, the souls of slain warriors don't leave the material plane and remain trapped, their sole mission to torment living beings. These restless souls usually cover themselves in ragged clothes, maybe as a remnant of their living past. Apart from their fighting skills, they have lost all vestiges of humanity. Damn, there's so many. Alright, let's look at the Crow Witch. This will be the last one. It is said that this monster was once a beautiful woman, a witch who inhabited the mountains that surrounded the fortress. She was treated with respect and admiration, with many people traveling from distant regions for her sage advice. During this time, she fell in love with a prince who lived in the keep. Besought with him, she used her powers to concoct potions of love and enchantment so that she could have him for herself. Alas, another witch entrapped him, and he met a most gruesome end. Mad with grief, Malthus threw herself from the top of the tower and landed on the rocks below. Incredibly, she survived the fall, though her body was horribly broken. The crows fed on her, she on them, and over many centuries her powers grew until she transformed into the twisted, bird-like creature she is now, intent on feeding on corpses for food. Her cries of matted rage fill the long, dark valleys below the fortress, an echo around the tower that was once a place of love and hope. Well, a lot of these things have really shitty <laughs> things happen to them. These half-human, half-bird-like creatures are the progeny of the crow witch, Malthus. The witch children are able to breathe fire and extremely volatile, oftentimes dying in a blazing explosion. 
However, like most magically summoned entities, their existence is short-lived and they tend to die naturally a few days after their birth. Alright, I think we'll leave it at that for now. We'll come back to that at a later time, even though the song's awesome. Alright, can't go in there. You don't have the key. Okay, so it is a key, it's not magic. Which means that I definitely have to go this way. Ooh, my legs. I feel like Gabriel takes a few falls that are... Deal with it, nerd. What do you got for me, buddy? A scroll. The castle was once a place where horrific experiments were conducted. I have heard folk tell of clockwork mechanisms that still continue to turn for no apparent reason and strange contraptions that wander in dark corridors. Lightning strikes here often. Is that what gave life to these things? Is the castle itself a giant conductor for the vast amounts of energy needed to resurrect these unholy abominations and the experiments that created them? Oh, sweet. Alright, so... what now? Oh, I see. I see, I see. All right. Oh, look at these skeleton. I'm going to take this before you guys attack me. Yeah, deal with it, skeletons. I sure have. Shit. Alright, so in the air, X. In the air, X. X. Okay, I'm gonna have to do that at a different time. I'm not getting wrecked by skeletons. There we go, that's what I wanted to see. Drop the key. Okay, good to know. I'll take that. Anything else here? Does not look like it. Nope. Oh. Okay. Back up, back up. Uh. Oh, wow. All right. This is not at all creepy. That's a lie, it's super creepy. <laughs> oh, nice. 
Well, I'm definitely going to take that effect that I got both of those. That's awesome. Sweet. Oh, hey, another guy. There's some writing on the sides of this strange mechanism. The color shall be no longer shall be no longer the red if you drop the balls all using your head. This toy was a gift from my mother the queen. To get her thrown all hinges must be green. Ah, it's a puzzle. 